Hey peeps, Ross England here. Clear Lake Guide Service with your report for Clear Lake for October 13th, 2021. So let's get right off to the deal about launch ramps. It's what everybody's the most interested in. Here's the deal. The only launch ramp that is considered still open on Clear Lake is the 5th Street launch ramp in downtown Lakeport. Now, if you go to Clear Lake's Oaks ramp or you go to the county park, maybe even Redbud, you'll probably not see barricades blocking access to the launch ramp. Don't be fooled into thinking that that means the launch ramp is rosy and the conditions are good. It is not. I don't know why the county did it th this way this year, but that's what's going on. Uh, Bob Tyler was just down yesterday checking the Clear Lake Oaks ramp, and uh, there's no monitor there. They have stopped allowing people to launch off of the beach. I don't know who's enforcing it or even if it is enforced. I, I couldn't tell you that. I can only tell you that at this point in time, on this date, Fifth Street Launch Ramp is the only one that's um, open to the public. Now, those other launch ramps, if you want to launch a kayak, float tube, paddle boat, you're probably good to go. Well, you're not probably, you are good to go. As far as trying to sneak in a little aluminum boat on a small trailer, it's probably launch at your own risk. So that's gonna stay this way for probably, well, until we get significant rainfall. I probably have four to six inches of lake fall and I will, prob I will quit using the Fifth Street launch ramp. Um, it's dropping about 0.15 feet per week so that puts us down you know in the next four weeks that would put us down a little over a half a foot and right now what I'm seeing here is about 1.7 feet out 25 yards out from the launch ramp itself um, I still have probably three horizontal feet from the back of my rear trailer tires to the end of the launch ramp so that's the situation with, regarding launch ramps and it's not going to change until it comes to a point that we either get rain and things start coming up or it start, it drops to the point without rain that they end up having to close 5th Street. Then I don't know what will happen but uh, the stories about the lake being closed and all that, no, not the case. You only have one launch ramp. So let's talk about lake level. Lake level as of this morning was minus 2.3 feet Rumsey. And again, it's, it's dropping about 0.15 foot a week. Um, strangely, 2.3 feet on this date last year, 2.3 feet this date this year. I really don't know how that happened, but it did. So, and I, but I got to tell you, going around the lake, it looks like the lake is lower than that 2.3 feet that we saw last year. So I can only report what I see. Water conditions overall, pretty good. Color, eh, typical for fall. I mean, there's a little bit of a greenish tint to it here, but you know, overall the water looks pretty good around the lake. I've been around the upper end of the lake, uh, down into the narrows, down into the red bud arm, a little bit into the rattlesnake arm. And, and honestly, for the most part, it looks pretty good for this time of year. The weeds are dying back slowly. There's one little kind of grass that's still hanging in there. Uh, but, you know, visibility, I don't think we've been anywhere that I've seen more than a foot of visibility. But it's, it's really not that bad. Water temperature starts out at 69 to 70 degrees. Uh, the previous two days, I saw it get up to 74, 75. Today, quitting at, at the time that we're quitting, I saw 
71 and a half, 72. So I think the shorter days, cooler nights, we're finally starting to see the water temperature start to kind of dip a little bit, which is good. So upcoming activities, there was a, uh, I believe it was a Wild West permit pulled for this weekend but it does not show up on their website. So I'm gonna say that there's nothing going on this weekend. There was a, there was a lot of confusion about uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife attempting to cancel or adjust permits for the remainder of September and October. And also for next year during that same time frame. And the only thing that I've seen in writing is that um, they retracted everything that they asked for. So I don't think that changes anything that's happening this October, but it just means that they'll be able to schedule as normal for next year, which we were hoping to see a little bit of a drawdown in tournament permits, especially during the summer. Um, it's just, it's a tough environment for these fish on a population of fish that I think is not what it used to be. So getting into this week, weekend's activities, far as I can tell there are none. Fishing is, I have to say it, it's improving because I didn't get better. Uh, it's not like I just got better all of a sudden and figured stuff out. Uh, we've actually caught fish this week. Um, I'm sorry for not being here the last two weeks. Like I said in the previous video we were at uh, Almanor chasing smallmouth and uh, enjoying some cooler weather so when I left a three and four fish day was a really good day, at least for me. And when I came back, we're we're kind of doubling that right now. And the, you know, the thing with fishing right now, the fish quality is really really good. I mean, when you catch a fish, it's fat, it's stocky, it's ornery, it doesn't come right to the boat. I mean, they're they're not showing a ton of signs of being handled you know, through multiple tournaments with torn gills and all that, the fish really look in good shape. The problem is, we're just not catching very many of them. So, um, I think that, you know, our when we've had five fish, we've been in the 17 to 18 pound range, uh, which is hard to do in a lot of places. So, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I think as the water continues to cool down, hopefully we'll continue to see a lot more bait fish moving up shallow, which is what's going on right now. Uh, I've been to a couple of areas where we've seen some fish actually chasing. Um, and in some cases we caught a few of them, but in most cases we're not that good. So I think that's going to be your report for this week. I will be back next week, Lord willing. So if you have any questions, comments, anything regarding the launch ramps or any of those situations shoot them down below and I'll do my best to try to answer them for you uh, somehow miraculously we're like seven subscribers away from 3,000 uh, I don't know how that happened I can't imagine more than 10 people wanting to listen to me but we're at this point we're almost to 3,000 so we'll celebrate that somehow I don't know how but anyway I'm rambling We'll talk to you next week.